What's going on guys, Pikachu Gone Rogue here and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make this status effect build for PvE and PvP. So to start it off, what, we're going, what specialization we're going to be rocking today is the survivalist. Now I'll explain to this in a minute as to why but let's just start off with showing you off the build. So for the headpiece we're going to go with a vile mask. Why? because the status effects apply a damage over time debuff for 10 seconds. Now this is especially good when you're using skills such as the chem launcher and the hive because that debuff is just going to make them two skills even more powerful. Now you want to try and max this out, it's not that hard but it just takes a few tries. I've got it as close as I could because um, I didn't want to risk trying to get any lower. So. Obviously, what you want to do with these status effect builds, right, is maximize your status effects attributes. Now, we're going to go with four piece Eclipse Protocol, specifically the backpack and chest piece as well. Why? Because the chest piece uh, uh, increases the indirect transmission range from 10 meters to 15. Now, this is especially useful for when you're playing in this game like the Summit, when it's just an enclosed room and each enemy that is dying is just transferring that status effect to them. Now this backpack is especially useful when using it with the chest piece. Why? Your status effects are f now spread on kill to all enemies within 10 meters and refresh the, and refresh the duration of that by 50%. So as soon as one enemy dies, say that status effect is almost done, it spreads to a new enemy and then that status effect bar goes straight away to the top. Now obviously, you, what I said before, you want to try to get them status effects rerolls all the way high. It's not too hard to get these god rolls, but for the purpose of the video, I'm just showing you how to get these as to what you want to reroll onto these, sorry, like builds. Now status effects, just get them all the way up. This will help you massively. Um, for the holster, you want to go one piece golden because that gives you that 10% extra status effects. Now, that's just boosting the damage of your, well, well depending on what skills you want to use. So for obviously for me, I'm going with a Sting Hive and a Fire Starter Chem Launcher. You could go with a Sticky Bomb, Fire Sticky Bomb, Burn Sticky Bomb, but the reason I like the, um, the, 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 the Chem Launcher fire starter is because you have eight ammo inside of it instead of the sticky bomb where it's just got one one like bomb basically um the stinger same situation obviously when you throw that stinger down if you have the fire starter um chem launch shot, shot at an enemy as i'll show you in the video the hive will set that fire starter off without you having to even shoot a bullet now for the weapons, we've gone with Pestilence, just because this is a status effect build, you want to apply that, that the, and what the Pestilence does is apply the debuff to people with the Plague of the Outcasts effect on them. Now obviously whenever this, whenever an enemy dies with this debuff, it spreads to nearby his enemy, and then just stacks, applying that debuff to, uh, from all these other enemies. Now the main reason you want to use the Survivalist specialist Specialization is because obviously this is skill based orientated right but we're not using drones or turrets or anything like that so there's no point using the technician but what we want to use is the survivalist because as you can see here this talent right here gives you 10% skill haste whenever you're in cover for the majority of this build you will always be in cover and then obviously I've applied the 15% damage to increase on light machine guns um, but yeah, that's just the main reason why you want to go with Survivalist. Um, the other main reason is group members get 10% bonus damage to targets with status effects applied. So, just an even better reason as to why you should be using this specialization over any other one. Not only that, your crossbow, you know, applies a status effect as well. So, this is just a maximizing status effect throughout the whole build. Obviously, you can use any other skill you want with this. But yeah, that's for the majority of the build. That's what it is. Um, I'll show you some clips of the build in action. Uh, if you enjoyed the build, 
you know just give me a like or anything like that um i've got more builds coming soon so yeah that's all for me pikachu gone rogue i'll leave you the clips